Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel guys and this is going to be your weekly tarot reading April 9th to April 15, 2018. Four cards spread and the first card is showing up the topic of the week that is going to be the Two of Swords. The second card shows up the core of the situation, that will be the Judgment. The third card does expresses the challenges that one needs to overcome, this is going to be the Seven of Wands. And the last one, it is expressing up the guidance that the Tsaru gives you. This is the Prince of uh, the Prince of Wands, or also known as the uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be first of all a week of waiting. You are waiting for something to happen, Taurus. That is expressed here by the Two of Swords, where you sit in a bench. Uh, the bench is a symbol of uh, of peace and as well of a state where you are patiently and also calmly waiting knowing that whatever needs to happen it is inevitably uh, around the corner and it is wait and it is about to happen in general and this is uh, signified here by the judgment card showing that this is going to be for you the wake up call the call of the universe this is always what the judgment um, <clears throat> the judgment uh, uh, let's say um, uncovers for you so you may wait for your pregnancy test to, to come positive and it's gonna come positive you may wait for uh, something for something to be approved you that week a paperwork you know or uh, an application that you did for a certain job or as well you may wait a certain person to uh, to approach you so it, with intentions to create a relationship with you that all that is going to happen depending on what you are waiting thing to happen so that week guys the waiting will be over however what we do have here as a challenge is that will be the seven of wands and it means that the responsibilities you have to take when this particular thing for you happened that green light that you're waiting um, <clears throat> appears the responsibilities and the strings you have to oblige to the code of conduit you need to follow in order to move along with that uh, with that thing with that project of yours with that relationship of yours uh, you know or with that agenda of yours will be much more than you have anticipated the seven of wands here guys shows that you will have to place a, a quite of a heroic effort in order to stabilize the situation the way you want it to be so that that being said, it will be quite of a challenge, whatever you're waiting, Taurus is, and you have asked for it, guys, and it's going to happen for you. But that should not uh, discourage you, not at all, because the, the profits of that challenge, or when you finally complete it, could be, uh, <clears throat> and it will be, not just could be, but it will be up for some lucrative, for other great success, for third it could be what they have truly wanted, etc, etc. But the point here is that something very meaningful and substantial for your well-being and for life, it is waiting to happen and it's going to happen during that week, guys. So be on a lookout for it. The Knight of Wands... It's showing that whenever um, <clears throat> whenever this thing starts to form, okay, you have to uh, you have to be open for new ways of approach. You have to be open for new strategies to exert into those particular things, because as I said, not just only heroic efforts, but as well brilliant strategies. It is what will give you the most um, <clears throat> the most success moving along with that particular direction of yours and. Uh, <clears throat> You have to allow yourself to experiment and as well taking risks because the Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands as well somehow protects you of taking huge risks, guys, to have a, a bad... Um, <clears throat> Or rather very negative effect in case uh, in case the risk fails okay so you should not be afraid to uh, to step out in the dark you should not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and to uh, to take some <clears throat> as I said risky moves here because the risky moves for you it is what pays off I mean the usual routine is not gonna give uh, or the usual approach is not gonna give much uh, much success because the opposition and that opposition is not by by different people by any means that that opposition that you do have is by the universe itself <clears throat> testing you how much do you want that whatever it is forming for you how 
or how much you are ready to sacrifice and it's not even a sacrifice but at least to show that you're ready to sacrifice from your time from your money as well you know uh, from your skills it's not gonna happen the easy way around this is what I'm talking about and if you're trying to seek it the easy way around it's it's it is most likely that you're gonna miss that particular um, very good opportunity for what I can say here with uh, the judgment card, that wake up call, this direction that is given to you, um, <clears throat> which is going to be substantial for your well-being and for your unfoldments of life in general. I want to say, um, I want to explain the judgment card a little bit more. Let's say that you do have a problem right now and you're wobbling in between one solution to another solution and nothing is working out and you are waiting something to happen so you can resolve that particular issue of yours that particular problem well this week that thing is going to happen that will give you with the third middle road that you can walk on and actually reach the um, the resolution of that issue and you are patiently waiting for it as i said but it will require much more i cannot say even devotion but much more toils from your behalf and uh, absence of slacking as well in order to push and advance with your things moving on forward. Very important here as well is to be said that you will you will most likely have to do when that thing unfolds for you, you will have to do thi um, things that you are not very agreed, uh, agreed with or you will highly dislike to do. By any means this is not going to be something uh, unjust, uh, unjustful and something against the law, it is just you find them annoying and you find them um, beneath your standard if I may express myself that way but uh, without them it is simply is not going to happen so you have to do the job 100% and you should not leave whatever it is annoying to you and whatever you think that it is negligible aside but you should uh, <clears throat> You should attend to the every single minor finest detail in order to uh, capitalize on this, whatever the universe is given to you during that week. So uh, that was your tarot reading Taurus for the upcoming week, April 9th to April 15th, 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. That being said, Brad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.